It is 3 p.m. but they have not yet gone to feed. So, um, you know some people always talk about the nutrition of the animals and they say our animals are not looking good, we feed them, we feed them daily, they are not looking good, all those things. You know you're doing the good nutrition, feeding them well. But again, they are not uh, putting on the weight that you require them to do what you put on. Now, a day has 24 hours. These animals are going to go at 4 p.m. to graze. Remember their nature, they move distances, picking small, small things to satisfy themselves. So if they start picking here, small, small, Imagine in the in the in the uh, three hours you've taken them out to graze from four, five, six. Okay, maybe they come back at six thirty or seven. That is three and a half hours. Now imagine in those three and a half hours, what have they picked that they are going to spend another twenty 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 one hours? to get nutrients for that Imagine how much they have taken in. That is undernutrition. You poorly feeding the animals. When you talk about poor feeding, that is involved. It is not uh, giving them little food or doing what. It also has the time that they go to If you take them because I normally advise people to take them for grazing at um, at least 11 or 10 a.m. in the morning when the dew is almost done, such that they can graze, pick feeds from wherever they graze from, they come back at around uh, 1 p.m., they rest a bit as they chew cud. Because they don't take in directly like we do. A goat takes, picks out the feeds. It stores them in the first stomach it has. The biggest stomach, which is called the rumen. When it, when it picks feet from the field, they go straight to that rumen. Without being chewed, without what, what. It picks directly and takes to the rumen. So when the rumen is full, or almost full, from... Um, at least 10 up to lunch time at, at 1 p.m. Now, they come back and chew that card. There is a series of, of, of movements in the stomach that bring back that food from the room and the first stomach. It comes back to the to the um, to, to the mouth. It is chewed properly and then taken to the second stomach. So, between that time, from 1 p.m. up to 2 or 3, those are two hours. Those are enough hours for these animals to chew the cud. And uh, by the time you reach 3 p.m., the first feed that they picked in the morning is already chewed and taken to the stomach for using the body. And then, from that time, 3 p.m., up to um uh, up to up to seven or six thirty in the evening when they come back they have again picked enough food to chew another card in the night as you go to sleep you put them inside to also sleep they are going to chew that card and also absorb more nutrients from that card 
so by, by, by the morning time, these animals are, are well fed. So if you try doing that every day, these animals are eating enough and are eating well. From what you feed them every day, taking them for three hours to graze. That is very abnormal and you start having kids that are looking like this. Animals that are not as good as they should be. Because you see, these are boa goats. But the body condition score is not as good as you can uh, as you may want. You can see them. But the condition score is not as good as it should be because they have a limited time to breathe. Now this also goes back to you telephone farmers because me what I do is when I'm moving through these farms I, re I reach the farm unexpectedly I don't call them but, I'm farm, but I inform them of a program that we are supposed to be doing at a particular time so I tell myself and I go there so once I fall on the ground and the situation is like this, the workers are not allowed that the animals are from uh, inside from the morning up to this time. Now I know what happens regularly and I have what to give to my bosses. The telephone farmers, you see the, the workers are not staying at the farm, they are not doing what is supposed to be done of them. So you, you be careful, have time and reach your farms and ensure things are well other than depending on people to do for you the activities your animals don't eat thank you but you again to kuzibe that way kali na bangambe ina farm endala eh bangambe tugenda genda okoy kali